All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today, I'm going to be taking another look at AI WiseMind, and I'm going to be setting another campaign up with the Candy Cross uh, Dog website. So uh, I've been working on the site. You can see I'm in my dashboard here, adding some footers, doing some different things in here. This is going to be a little bit different than some of the other sites that are being built that are primarily um, just focused on product reviews. But uh, in this case, we're going to be doing a lot of informational posts. Um, I put a banner up on here as well and so forth, right? So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go and grab this sheet that I have um, right here, and it's broken up into different categories with keywords. And so this is information and guides. I'm going to go ahead and grab these keywords right here. Um, and I got the all these keywords from also asked. Uh, I can see right over here. Uh, right here it says also asked canny cross right so uh, just to show you that that's where i'm getting the tool or i'm using the tools that i am uh, showing you guys um so i've got these keywords here we're going to go in and we're going to set up a new campaign and this is going to be informational post um, it's just going to be information and guides uh, something like that right so we have our keywords here i'm going to paste all those in right there so you can paste all those keywords in. i don't know what the limit is um but that that's a lot of keywords uh, use the keywords as the title. I am going to select that in this case because um, I specifically want these and I want to rank for those. Um, and then also we don't have any affiliate links uh, we're going to put in right there. We have video embeds. We'll go ahead and go with that. We'll add images and I'm going to go ahead and just leave everything right here and I'm going to add the um, add image uh, copyright right there. Um, at least for this round right here. We are going to stick with the turbo here second person friendly and it looks pretty good uh total number of posts to create and so what is the total number we have 41 up here so i'm going to come back down here and make sure that this says 41 click off there make sure publish on a schedule so we're going to select publish on a schedule number of posts to create one every day we're going to post this to wordpress and you can uh, i get questions about this um it is completely uh, like personal choice. Um, of course, the more SEO experience you have, the more comfortable you will be with and the more knowledge you'll have with uh, how many posts you should publish automatically on a site. Some people are doing 10 or more per day. That's uh, your choice. That's fine. Um, for these little tiny niche sites, I think one post a day is fine. Um, I would, um, I mean, if you're going to ask me, um, uh, just personal preference, I would say don't go over five, but that's just my choice between one and five posts, I think would be safe. I think that, um, even a single person could create that content in one day, but once you start getting above five, it would be really hard for if a Google manually reviewed your site and it was the same author creating that content, it would be hard for them to kind of believe that you're doing that much work. Um, and of course, uh, it would be AI content and so forth. So um, I just think uh, staying between one and five is in general, generally speaking, is the best choice right here. But I'm going to go with one, actually. And I'm also trying to save credits so I can um, do some experimentation and so forth. Right. We're going to go with one post to WordPress. Uh, right now, I only have one the one site set up right here. Uh, auto generate featured image uh, that'll be interesting to see what it comes up with auto generate category um, this we don't want to check that and i don't want tags so the category in this one is information and guides um, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, create so we're going to create that campaign and that campaign is now um, being created for us right and let's see, while it's being created, I'm going to go ahead and click on the campaigns button again and see if it has registered. Yep. So here's the 41, um, zero of 41 is uh, created or scheduled, right? <clears throat> so right now it's going to go and start creating all of this and we can go and view the campaign <clears throat> and um, you can make uh, changes, uh, but you can see right here, it's actually processing this one is candy cross good for dogs and then it's going to also start and scheduled all of these automatically and that's the brilliant thing about ai wise mind that um, i haven't seen a tool in over two years of reviewing tools like this that made it so easy to schedule out this much content and just at the click of a button it is pretty insane um really really fun to use as well so uh, let's go back over to our spreadsheet so i'm going to go over to campaigns and we're going to create another campaign so we're going to create this new campaign um right over here but um i'm actually 
Um, trying to think because we have the 41 scheduled right there. Um, and if I create another campaign, I don't know if we can do a delay or not, right? So um, I do want to also add these other ones, but I'm not going to do that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a note. I'm going to right click insert right over here and I'm just going to say um, scheduled and I'm going to say I used AI wise mind and I'm going to say that I scheduled these on a 23 Click down here and that is uh, I'm going to copy. Um, so this is done, right? So we, the next time I come in here, I would schedule these ones out and then I would schedule the remaining ones over here. And so, um, by doing this, uh, and I'll set a reminder on my calendar. So, um, we would be, what is that? Um, for like a hundred more articles right here. And then I have more to go with as well. So using also asked, um, let's see, I would, I did AI wise mind and I'm pretty sure. Um, this is the master list and I believe I did you go to about a hundred. This is my master list. I already did this part right here. And so um, we know that we went to about right here, right there. So that way um, I used uh, chat GBT to put automatically put all these into the appropriate categories on my website, which is super cool. Um, sometimes the prompting is just weird. I, I wasn't able to get it to do um, a perfect column or I could just, you know, paste them in right here. So that's why it uh, dispersed them like this, but that works as well. And then um, here in about a month, I'll come back and I'll just add some more content right here. Theoretically, if all of these keywords right here were in the same, um, you know, blog category, then you could schedule all of them in AI wise mind right at the same time. And that would be even super cool and hands off that we wouldn't have to come back. But what I would do now is um, I would set my, basically set my calendar for 41 days from now that I need to go and touch base with this blog right here. So you want to make sure that you subscribe to LearnWire because in my next video, I'm actually going to be showing you, we're going to be doing some experimentation with uh, going into a new campaign. And I'm going to be seeing what kind of uh, quality SEO post that I can get out of an informational post. Um, you know, like by, by utilizing this box right here, keywords and URLs and the context right here and so forth, right? We're really going to beef this up. We're going to use Neuron Writer to get um, the keywords and NLP keywords. We're going to feed AI wise mind with all that information and then create the post and see if we can actually use this tool to create some high SEO score uh, posts if we want to be a little bit more manual per post, but uh, we want it because we want to keep in mind that AI wise mind was built with automation in mind and it's um, primarily um, for doing things that I just did scheduling out 40 plus posts in the matter in a matter of uh, less than three minutes. And a site is completely fully managed now um, for the next month and I don't have to worry about it. And you can uh, manage multiple sites, uh, depending on what account you have. You could uh, probably um, manage a hundred or more websites if you had like the $297 plan. Um, but what I want to do in the next video, so you want to make sure that you uh, tune into the, to the next video. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because I'm going to go ahead and use this informational post and we're going to go and use Neuron Writer, get a content brief and everything, put that in and put the keywords in here and see if we can actually pull a decent SEO score using AI wise mind as well. So, um, thanks for tuning in. If you guys want to go pick up AI wise mind, it's available with the link below. Super, super awesome tool. Definitely, uh, moving right up there in, in my top. AI uh, tools and uh, favorites uh, just because of the capabilities of it. Um, you'll also want to subscribe because uh, another tutorial that I'll be doing soon in the next week or two will be um, I will be creating a brand new website and we'll be using AI wise mind the whole time. Uh, we're going to be picking a, a category and so forth and then I'll go ahead and create it with the site wizard and so forth right. So uh, I will see you in the next video.